welcome to step four. So for you this is going to seem like the introduction for me it's the executive summary stage where I've already done the video numerous times. I know what you're in for and I just wanted to preface this before um, you get to it. So when I started this series I had an objective of helping close a gap. The GitHub page, release page, lists three videos for reference done by proper YouTubers who don't have the production quality issues you're experiencing here. And <laughs> believe me, it gets worse today. But um, they were reviewing a 6.0 release. There was no need to copy three bin files from a kernel upgrade folder into DWinset. And it has proven surprisingly difficult to communicate the importance of doing that through a readme text file in the zip, through um, repeated feedback on the Discord. I felt that if videos were people's preferred way of learning how to flash the firmware, at least when things have gone sideways, then um, I needed to close that gap to help the folks who just weren't understanding me when I tried to help them through the Discord. So that was the motivation for the entire YouTube channel and all this series of videos. This is the video in which um, that would occur to you. This is the step, let's say, in, in which that issue would become evident to you too. So later on in the video, I'll talk to you about what's a black screen, what's a blank screen, and how does that happen. Here I just wanted to say that as I was making the video, it occurred to me that really I'm not sure about doing a fifth. If you find a fifth video in the playlist, hey, I changed my mind and I did one. But at this stage, my thinking is more important to go back and do the first video, because I am doing these in reverse order. And folks are still having difficulty sometimes to being tricked by the GitHub layout or or by you know, a false click and then they're ending up downloading the wrong version of the firmware. So I'm going to go and, and fix that one next. Step 5 is nothing more than put the same uh, card we prepared at step 3 into the motherboard. Um, put it in upside down because the socket's that way, the board's upside down. You, uh, you cycle power and all will be well. Um, there have been reports, uh, especially uh, I remember when I had a 452 Kickstarter board in my machine, I had issues that other people have reported. The 452 board bootloader doesn't seem to work reliably uh, forever. The board ages out, don't know what happens, EEPROM gets worn out, bootprom uh, has bugs, I don't know what it is. But something goes wrong and eventually the SD card reader is very unreliable, the board is unreliable, and people boot it to the curb and put in a replacement board. If you have a 452 board, I'm sorry for that forecast of the future. Maybe you're a lucky one, and it won't happen to you. But that's how I ended up with an SKR CR6 board in my machine. And that means I don't have a Creality board, and I can't flash the system back to a Creality configuration as a starting point for loading. It would have been elegant. I would have liked to be able to do that, but I can't. Um, so I'm working with a, a BTT motherboard. Uh, it doesn't behave the same way when I boot. Um, the one thing that I like... Uh, that I find is different is it flickers the hot end LED while it's loading. So you can see that a bootload is actually taking place on the motherboard. The, the Creality boards don't have a clue like that for you. But with the Creality board and the SKR board, having performed step 4 display uh, being flashed, step 5 you will see the progress bar in the bottom of the screen. As the boot completes, it is not watching the boot process and and clicking the bar in progress to show you that that motherboard process is going it's simply reading a series of bitmap files as it can during boot up so um, don't interpret um, the board um, uh, the bar getting uh, click 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 as the motherboard is being flashed ding 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 however you will see only um, when you get to the um, the home screen, when you when the user interface is all lit up with four buttons, your motherboard has also bootloaded, and you're good to go. So, uh, if a fifth video is necessary, I'll man up and I'll do a fifth video. But at this point, I think you're going to get four in this playlist. So, let's get on with this one. <laughs> 